back, baby. You know, just. I remember I got left on the show. I'm in recording. I ain't deleting none of them shits. Oh, no, nah, I don't be deleting them either, man. <laughs> Nigga, we, we about to get a dedicated camera. This is your boy, Black Freckle, aka okay, Hype. Hey, hey. We about to get a dedicated camera, mm-hmm. a dedicated chill, a dedicated <laughs> uh, hard drive. Uh huh. And we finna start doing some major things up in this bitch, man. Yeah, major. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy Rebel, and this is indeed the Raw Hype. Raw Hype. Back for another week of that thing. We is. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. He on slow mo. Nah. Shit. Throwing bullets just like Romo. Nah. Shit. When I speak, never say no homo. Nah. What's good with you, bro? Me? Let's twist up a note. I'm just chilling, I'm just chilling. Huh. Yeah, we off in the building. Huh. About to do some big things. Huh. Raw high about to make a killing. Huh. Hoes about to start hollering. Yeah. But they know that we take it. Yeah. You know what grinds my gears? What? When they call me Jamaican. Yeah. I from St. Thomas, your mother's country. <laughs> I am the promise, your mother's country. Yeah. I just talk your girl and then fuck your girl in the pajamas, your mother's country. Yeah. I don't know why they're talking about. Why I gonna tell them to hush their mouth? Yeah. Pick up a hat, slap a fucking clout. They know the hey. Shit. Now you know where he's from. My teeth on these. Let me speak my piece. Yeah. Nigga, I'm from Texas. Yeah, you is. Whip up. Yeah, I'm talking about that East. That East. East Texas, young nigga. Young nigga, young nigga. You know I rep that water. Water. Don't text my phone. Nah. Nigga, I ain't seen your daughter. Never. I ain't moving no quarters. No, sir. I ain't never did a thing. Uh uh-uh. uh. I ain't deep in this woods. Uh. I ain't deep in that game. No. Cause I ain't never gonna do it. No, you're not. I speak so fluid. Yeah, you do. I'm the truth in this bitch. Truth be told, young nigga, I'm the truest. I spit these flows and get these hoes and the beat might change, but I'm never gonna do it. I shoot at a nigga from the front to the back. I shoot at a nigga like Patrick Young. Pew! I'm talking about free throw. Looking for a bitch that could deep throw. Uh. Nigga, I'ma buy me three O's. Cause I can buy it now, I can buy it now. Got the medical license legal. on them, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Legal, legal marijuana. Yeah, yeah, we got cards now. Yeah, we official, we official. Cops can't pull our ass around. They can't say, sir, let me see your license. Oh, you mean this one? Yeah. The one that said I smoke loud packs yeah. in front of your son? Yeah. Fuck you and your gun. Yeah. Why y'all keep killing people? <laughs> Why isn't that illegal? Why? But this marijuana legal. Huh. Just for me and my people. Huh. Fuck cops, fuck 5 yes. fuck 12, fuck police, wherever you want to call yourself, motherfucker. That's real, baby. Brilliant That's something to think about. We out of here, baby. We'll catch y'all. <laughs> we'll That's catch y'all tonight. next we'll week. Catch y'all baby. on the flip side. We just here to drop one hit a week. Hey, the, the end of the beat and everything, man. What's good with you, baby? What it I, is, baby? I do feel the only way to solve the issue is to take away guns completely. Oh, that doesn't that don't solve do it, issue. Man. That nigga started it. Uh, shout out to the Patreons and everybody who's Patreon. We just don't did an keep episode. Doing this, man. <laughs> we just did an episode. Just, just take over every podcast. He's like, I got an idea. As <laughs> soon as them niggas stop rapping, I'm gonna hit them with this. <laughs> We just did a Take nice away podcast, the and Hype and Joe had a nice little back and forth. And when we did this one, we was like, all right, I ain't going to argue with Joe. That nigga Joe's first words argue. is argumentative. I think they should take everybody's guns and the police be able to fuck your wife. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? I don't, I don't agree. Like these ideas. I feel an argument of brewing. But uh, who that, FedEx? I don't know who that is. They finna be next. Let me get that. Uh, shout out, Joe, man. Shout if out, y'all didn't out. know, Joe's in the spot. Big up, Joe. You done know the thing. Go. Big up, big up. Fresh on the. Yo, I, I, hey, listen. While we was doing that freestyle and we was doing all where we lived, uh, I was going to do for you. I was going to rip for you real quick, yo. But then the beat <laughs> ended. I was like, eh. But, um. Yeah, fit. shout out to Cruise Massive. You know, you done know. <laughs> but uh, back to what we were just talking about. Uh, un- unargumentatively. I'm gonna get you in the shot, man. Why the coppers keep fucking killing people, man? I was talking to somebody the other day, and oh, they need to do mental evaluations of them fools. I was at work. Be a police officer, bro. I was at work, and my work involves me going into uh, people's houses, hopefully while they're there. This nigga legally uh, uh, house burglar. What a sticky band did this. With a sticky band. No, and there was a a tall white man in there watching the. Fucking Derek Chauvin uh, trial, right? And I was saying, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. The guy, Derek Chauvin, Mm. that killed George Floyd is going to go to prison. All right. Thank you. I know the shit fucked up in the justice system, but this particular nigga (laughs) is going to prison. Go. So while I was in the house, I said to myself, 
I don't want to be here right now with a white man watching this happen because I know his initial white thoughts are, look at this good white man serving this country, and they want to take him down for killing one of those. Here we go. I just assumed that was how he was thinking. Talking about, you, you love to generalize <laughs> everybody, man. man you got to understand, but you wasn't there. You didn't see the person. You didn't see their you mannerisms. Should just say, you shouldn't say, I know this white man. You should just say, this man gave me the vibe there. Thank you. Don't just say it so Is that what sure. I said? No, you said, I'm for sure this cracker is a... I was there, mm-hmm. and the energy that was coming off that couch mm-hmm. was he was upset with the fact that this white man who serves for his uh, as a police is going through this. I felt that. Like Again, like I said, I you have like to be there. I you dead. wouldn't watch it if you was on that side, but that's kind of weird. It is people on that side that's but, watching it. Like, they better not lock him up. Yes! God damn it. <laughs> Everybody ain't in support of it, and I say that only to say, why the fuck... Are we having such a long trial for a murder we watched and seen? Like, what is there to discuss around this Nigga. motherfucker? I say the same thing. Like, you should bring the jurors in and show them the video and be like, all right, all right. Deal. <laughs> not guilty. Uh, do we go deliberate? <laughs> what, you need more? Now, tell me how you feel now. They're going to deliberate for less than three hours, and they're going to come back with a guilty plea. I don't know if they're going to hit him for some kind of manslaughter, some kind mm-hmm. of second degree. I don't know what the nigga just charged for. I just know he's going to prison, right? Yeah. They're going to deliberate for less than time. three hours, and they're going to come back with a guilty plea for something that lands him in prison for at least a decade. That's what it's going to be. That ain't enough. Oh, I agree with that. I'm just saying as far as my guarantee. If oh. I had to say what I really think going to happen, What'd I think, think he's going to do about 20 or more. No bullshit. But I'm guaranteeing he goes to prison and whatever sentence they give him, he going to do 10 years minimum of it. I think the only reason I would agree with a guarantee that he's going to go to prison is because I guarantee if he don't, shit's going to turn the fuck up. It would just, it's one of those, life weird sometimes. It's one of those things that it's like, it'd be best for everybody. If and that's what I mean. Prison. It's like, you feel what I'm saying? I feel like the, the fucking state senator, or secretary right. of state might come in like, hey, I don't know what y'all got going on, right. but y'all motherfuckers better return with exactly. this guilty verdict because exactly. America won't be safe. That's how I feel. I feel like that. And that's why I've been guaranteeing it from June. For no other reason. You have. It's because I know how large companies and large entities move. And And America is no different, but it's a large company. It's a large business. Yes. And like part of being a large company is making sure your employees are not happy, but ain't going to come burn the building down. (laughs) You feel what I'm saying? So we want to create the illusion of happiness for our slaves. That's kind of what a job Mm, do. That is what a job do. So America going to have to do the same thing. And even if they know there's going to be people that ain't with it, they be like, hey, bud, you got to make this sacrifice. Exactly. And they would understand. Like, even if you say, they better not arrest him for what he did to George Floyd. Even if he go to prison, even the most racist white person, most cop loving person, they'll at least understand. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Speaking of, they said the jurors will return to the courtroom Monday to hear the closing arguments before heading into sequestered deliberation in the Derek Chauvin murder trial. Less than three hours, guilty. Book it. Book it. Book it. They will deliberate for less than three hours and come back with a guilty. Crazy. Book that. And if you told me what he was charged for, I would tell you exactly what they're going to be guilty of. I'm telling you, he going to jail, bro. He got to, man. Just for the betterment of America. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, man, I, and you know me, bro. I will give a police officer the benefit of the doubt, bro. Like, on some no bullshit. I don't even feel like, I'm not even on some, I'm 100% sure that that white lady that said she was reaching for her the taser. taser. That's what I'm pulling and, up right I'm now. I'm not 100% sure That's I'm that pulling up she right was now. on some, like, I'm about to pull out my gun and pretend like it's my taser. I don't feel like that. I'm sorry. Mm. I do not feel like that. I do not feel like this white lady was like, I'm finna pretend like I'm doing my taser and shoot this motherfucker. Mm. And then I'm going to say that I thought the opposite and retire or whatever or quit <laughs> and I don't believe it. You've been in the police force for like 20 some years. No, but, but the, what I believe is that that's the kind of mistake that you can't make in this job. Exactly. And if that mistake come with prison time, you need to have consequences. I get it. Yep. Yeah. And you feel what I'm saying? Years but ago, I don't think also because if I make a mistake, you're black, I'm going to pretend like this. I don't believe if that. I make that a mistake and shoot you, different. I'm going to jail. I'm going oh, to prison. For sure. But not only that, she sure. years ago, she might've been able to get away with it. She can't right. do it now. Right. Right. Cause you got the spotlights on. Not only that, the spotlights on. So the Chauvin case going on. And I'm giving her the benefit of doubt. She could have said, Hey, I'm about to shoot him and pretend like it's this. She could have said, but I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. So I don't be on some shit like, oh, every cop is this, every cop is this, every cop is this. Every cop that is George Floyd shit was some bullshit, though. It was. I'm sorry. Was. That George Floyd shit was some bullshit. But that shit is some shit it. you got to go to prison for. I agree. 
I'm sorry. Th- that's the only solution. The only result Straight up. And, 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 and pretty much you can give me so many other scenarios, yeah. dog. And I will tell you, I ain't for sure. They're you know trying to saying? say, oh, he was on drugs and yeah, all this other yeah, stuff. That's I don't hear that. You know what I, I think that. this American business should do to this case? Derek should get the death penalty. Dead ass. Only because yes. you've given other people the death penalty for yeah. less, number one. And, and number two. It. You made the choice whether he was going to live or die. No you made that choice. Exactly. No so he deserves the, the death no penalty. Yeah. And I feel like if he gets the death penalty, it might quell a little bit of the upsetness and the Shannon uprise. Sharp said they I don't know if does they, Minnesota uh, have the death penalty? Oh, no. I was going to look that up. Uh, Shannon Sharp said they need, to start, um, no, <laughs> they need to start taking the, what they have to pay, like them civil suits, out of the police officer's picture. Mm. And I was like, I don't agree with that, but I feel where he's coming from. <laughs> you got to make some radical changes in order to get this shit. It's what he, we was talking about on the Patreon, is that when shit don't affect somebody personally, they don't view it the same. Mm-hmm. You know, if I shoot somebody and y'all put me on administrative leave or I have to go be a police officer the next town over, it don't have a death penalty. It was about abolished in 1911. Damn, that was a long time ago. It's time to bring it back. But no, uh, but you been killing niggas in a long time. Bring it back. But you know, I don't know, man. But radical change has to happen only because shit been wrong for too long that it's it's regular. Certain traditions definitely need to be. broken. They have to be sure. broken, man. And you the only way to do them is 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 is, is that I learned drastically in twenty twenty. I learned in 2020. It was a very learning year for you. It was. 2020 was a beautiful year for some of us, of course. Yeah, man. Not 2020, the bro. Yeah. <laughs> the, I, don't, I ain't going to Sorry, go it. ahead. Go but, ahead. <laughs> uh, but what I learned in 2020 is that I had accepted in my lifetime that shit always going to be fucked up for black people. Yeah. Because there was a time when mm-hmm. people was talking about like the whole movement was going it. on and shit. And you know what I'm saying? That was like, we need to do this, we need to do this, we need to do this. And things like happened. I was like, yo, that's crazy. Like I always thought it would be like this, this, and this. And even though a whole bunch of shit didn't change, just like fucking monuments being torn down and motherfuckers mm-hmm. saying, like, hey Change man, this racist bullshit got to come to a halt. <laughs> so when that happened, I was like, wow, I was actually shocked. And it let me know that I had accepted a long time ago that shit just is fucked up in America for black people. And that's crazy that I accepted it without even noticing it. It we all have accepted it really because it, it's the like reality. People, exactly, yeah. it's a reality. It's, and we hard live to, it. it's literally like we live in two Americas, like they yeah, say, man. Like yeah. this man died on camera in a horrific way, and it could have been anyone of us right. deliberating. And people always well, say, "Well, it happens to white people. It happens to white people. It happens to white people." I'm like, I'm not saying it don't, but why we don't see? But it? I'm asking to show not me the, the video that they're they showing them. Not the same clip as us. Oh not man, you seen us. that video that uh, I think it was Snoop and them with the white dude. I seen the police do some white people dirty in my life, though, by the man, way. Man, hold on, man. I definitely have. And when I see police do white people dirty, it doesn't, like, anger me more, but it makes me say, see, police for real out of control. Because yeah. it's one thing on some racist shit, but it's like, you're just a bad person. A bully. <laughs> exactly, yeah. a bully. What hold on, keep talking. I'm going to try to pull it up on the Bluetooth. Man, but I'm going to put, I'm gonna put it in the clip so the people can hear it but my nigga i smoke medical bro come on talk that medical shit you can't hit this joe (laughs) okay do you have a license joe well you can hit that illegal shit (laughs) 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 which i don't bring in my house god damn it i only bring the medical because you get that from the white man bro maybe (laughs) i don't know even shit like that man like people in jail and lives ruined and lost jobs and couldn't get jobs and now motherfuckers is becoming millionaires off that shit, yo. Like, yo, man, the weed on, shit is real fucked up. It's so fucked up. The reason up, that man. it's really super dope fucked up though is because you could say a nigga broke some laws in the 1980 and they gave him life in prison for weed and that's fucked up, right? Mm. And I completely agree. But like, it's motherfuckers that like can smoke weed and do what they want and you can't and you live in the same, same country city. as them. In the same city. Well, yeah, if it's medical, yeah. <laughs> Or the city over. I was in D.C. and I think weed is legal in D.C. but 100%. not in Maryland. No, it's not. And the or motherfuckers Virginia. is a street or two of so, it. Same thing for Virginia. You can make a turn and you in Washington instead of Virginia. I mean Maryland. Yeah, here it is. Them shit's right beside each other. I'm gonna put this on the cat uh, on the. Screen I mean, you got so you can see. gun right there. Oh, right there. I need you to relax for real. I will shoot you with this rifle. That's a threat. Kind of let go of me. You just put your hand on a gun, sir. And yet people have the nerve to say that all black people have to do is comply. That's insane. But no, you got to see it. It's quick. It's not long. This shit is crazy, my nigga. You talking about the one with the military guy? No. Nah. Oh, shit. We got to talk about that, too. Since we already Honestly, in the... Pull that up for me, Honestly, you're not going to believe what I'm about to show you. Look at this shit. Okay. Let's 
That's all right. Just keep, just keep going on. Just get the right foot. Just start with the step. Put your hand on the steering wheel. No. Off oh, rim. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey get it... out of the car, man. You got a gun right there. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Get out there's of the car. rights. There's rights to this. Get out. There are rights to this. Do you have a control? There are carry. rights to this. Oh, get, get out. Hold up the right car. there. It's open. My hands are up. My hands are up. No. No, you got to. This is on body cam. You have body cam, sir. Put Give your a body hands cam. over your eyes. Do you have body cam? Put your hands over your eyes. Body cam, sir. Put your hands over your eyes. Body cam, sir. Yeah, you got I will send this dog on you. I will shoot you if you do. Don't. Don't. You have rights too. You have rights too. Don't you dare. You have right to right. Don't you shoot dare. You, you, you know that. Right. You have, hey, you whoa. have a weapon, hey, hey. okay? Yes, I don't. do. And it's kind of don't. Don't. What I need you to do. Hey, you oh, guys are driving me on. This is also unconstitutional. Okay. Body cam. Right. Body cam request. Can you quit yelling That's so I can talk to you? I'm not going to bother anybody. No, you're Hands not. on the seat. Don't, don't do this. Nope. Don't do it. Look what don't. my nigga finna do. Oh, so to recap, he refuses to that nigga mouth wide open because you ain't never seen no shit like he that in your life. On his own gun, he twice threatens to shoot the cop. He closes the door and speeds away, and he lives to tell the tale. I'm not saying that this suspect should have been shot. In fact, the officers in this example show quite remarkable patience and composure. But then that leads me to the question: Why isn't this shown for all? Think about it. How can you possibly watch this video? and not think about the cases where black suspects are shot and killed for being way less threatening than this man behind the wheel. What this video and many others like it tell me is that police have the training. It just seems they pick and choose what to show restraint. What, what, first of all, I would like to say, I like when white people act like that to the police. I like uh, it too. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Get your hands off me, you <laughs> dirty pig! Like, hey, I'm gonna stick my dog on you, and I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> right. Wait a minute. I'm gonna blow your hole on your fucking ass, you goddamn pig. <laughs> fucking pig. Poor but, car. Uh, yeah, I like that, but that's beside the point. Mm. But see, man, and you know I hate generalizations, bro. You just but, attacked me for it. But I really do, in my heart of heart, feel like if that was a black person, they would have shot his ass. I feel like everybody believes that. I don't. I don't see I anyone don't. thinking and that. I that. do appreciate the dude giving them police officers credit. Yes, because they actually did do a good job. Yes. I was over here thinking like those racist <laughs> bastards, and then when he pointed that out, I was like, "Well, he does have a point. That's what um, you should do. Yes, have if I don't strength. have to murk you up in this bitch, I ain't gonna do it. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, I agree. Those police officers did a good job. I'm not gonna say the obvious and go on like, "Oh well, it was a white person and he did this." I mean, that's obvious. You know, the only problem I have with I people who bring those. <laughs> That nigga said, hey, hey, I'm not going to bother anybody. Is, yeah, exactly. That nigga's playing. Hey, please don't drive off, man. We'll look bad. My only problem with, my only problem with, like, comparing things is, like, situations are different, man. Right, exactly. You're dealing with different people, exactly. different cities, different yes, situations. There is no guarantee that they would have shot him if he was black. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. They could just be two good cops exactly. that do their motherfucking job no matter what happens. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't like that kind of news media and when someone's, like, giving you that, well, imagine if he was black. There's no guarantee that he would have mm-hmm. been shot if he was black, so I don't like that. But, but. by the same token... <laughs> You know, it's hard to believe he wouldn't die if he was black, man. It's hard. Only because, like he, the white man said at the end, you've seen black people do less yes. and die. But this be my thing that people don't be understanding that it be deeper than that, bro. Mm. Like, let's say a police officer isn't racist, okay? But let's just factor in that his entire life, the world has taught him to be afraid of black people. I was just about to say that, man. And that's the crazy thing that people never factor in. They just say, racist, 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 racist. And it's like, what if he's not? That's why I said these guys need to be evaluated, man. They need to be mentally evaluated. That's not a mental thing. That's just living in America. I'm about to say societal, man. Society teaches us to be afraid of black people. Society teaches everyone in America to be afraid of Black you see people. a group of black people walking down the but street, you don't think society that's a mental says issue? walk across. I mean, that's no, a mental it's not issue. a mental issue. All you're doing is learning what you was taught. What What's mental about, about that? Like that's when you fucking go look at rap videos and shit like that, a nigga on the bitch, nigga, uh, uh, what the shit, the, the shit nigga say, uh, I'll push a shit bike, boy. Oh, no, uh, the song, the do 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 The song you sent me with the Terry Crews oh, uh, and yeah. all that shit. That's a nigga first line on the bitch. Ooh, I name. smoke. <laughs> yeah, nigga first line. Fuck with me and I'll push a shit back, boy. And I'm like, 
I'm entertained by this, but at the same token, this teaches you to be afraid mm-hmm. of black people. Especially, it's in them same rap videos. Them niggas got all exactly. the guns they you've never guns seen like, before exactly. flashing. So, I, I shoot a nigga dead if he went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait and a- it's like, that teaches people to be afraid yep. of black people. So it's like, only on some shit like, if I, I'm nervous because you got a gun. Mm. And then I'm also scared because the world has taught me to uh, to be scared of black people. So when I shoot you because I'm nervous and scared and the world taught me to uh, be mm-hmm. scared of black people, then I'm in prison by myself. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, it's deeper than all this shit. We have to fix the shit of motherfucker teaching you to be afraid of black people. That's what yes. I'm saying. So, we, so it's like, that's that's a that is deeper than that is it's what I'm a, saying. It's, it's a, not just a you're black so I shoot you. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of that shit be deeper than that. It be the, them stereotypes, man. Exactly. And them shits they, they when the stereotype comes true, it makes it okay to continue exactly. the stereotype. So it's really yeah. be like America fault. It, it is, is America you feel fault. What I'm <laughs> And but oh, it this, happens overseas. I was just too. about to say this is a worldly thing, but America is damn near almost like but America who is the, the world place follows where you fucking near. captured black people and treated them like animals and had them build your country up till it was the richest country in the world. Mm. Like um, nothing is like America. As I said, that's what people get their cues from America. Yeah, yeah. motherfucker, risk their life in the back I, of. A I don't know everybody else's history, but I'm not too familiar with any other country that was built up to wealth and riches. Um, by capturing a bunch of one kind and bringing them over here, and they still live there. Italy, yeah. What they um, black country. Black people, black people built I'm, this world. Dave. Yeah, I was gonna, <laughs> well, I was gonna say too. black people, but you know, black people built the world, man. <coughs> but it was like us here. Yes, was they bad. they was more credited for. That's how they knew to bring it. And over those here countries are as shit. rich as America. <laughs> no, They're not. But oh, that's what yeah. I'm referring. I'm just saying to. it happens America, everywhere. Yeah, but we, America, America took capitalized off. the best. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm referring to. The best. So not only did you capitalize the best, but those people's ancestors live here, and you don't do nothing for them. But there it's the is same nothing everywhere you go. Because they but did, no they did, other country got the resources that we got. Like we have so to me, it makes it worse. Oh, I mean, it's well, worse either way. No sin is worse than the other sin, but, but other they countries are. got the resources that I hate take. when people say that. <laughs> yes, sins are rank, See, ranked, but this is again, <laughs> this, this, is, bad this is, bad. is conditioning, bro. Bad is bad. We bad. talk bad to think stuff bad, 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 and then there's worse. Okay, yeah, fine, cool. yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you're right. You're right. You're right. Exactly. I retract like, my statement. It's like my wallet right. sitting there. You steal twenty dollars out of it, bad Joe. My wallet sitting there. You take my social out there, motherfucker. <laughs> create a new life under my name. <laughs> Real bad <laughs> joke, God damn it. You know what I'm saying? So I they feel not, that. I yeah, feel like yeah, take my twenty dollars, not by <laughs> That's a terrible idiom. Like for real, bro. But it's not your fault. Yeah. This is phrases that you grew up learning exactly. and grew up hearing. You have yeah. to unlearn everything in this See, country. And that's what I said. So, uh, <clears throat> like how you say you learning yourself and shit? Learning yourself is unlearning what the world didn't taught yep. you. Right. That's growing. And I ain't going to say it. So, so maybe mental issue is the wrong thing. I have to unlearn the lessons I was taught. It's mm-hmm. conditioning. Kind of it's conditioning. Conditioning, right. What about it's that conditioning, man. Yeah, man. And that's my point. Where I always I say the same shampoo, thing. God damn it. That bitch just <laughs> That bitch ain't a three in one. Or hell no, nah, hell no, nah, body wash. <laughs> you know, we all wired a particular way based on our backgrounds and our, our bringings and shit like that. Man, yes, we so always say most people and most people in this country is fucked up because of their parents. I yeah. agree. I was just about to say that just now before we so made that little body wash joke. About, hey, I'm going to have a child even though I know that child ain't going to have a father. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? Why are you? Why? Uh, are you, why are you fucking up someone else's life? That's essentially what you're doing. Very simple. no bullshit for your own reason. Even if you raise me as good as two parents could have raised me, you still raising me in a world that's a telling deficit. me that the I way that to. I was raised is not normal. Yep, it's yeah. a deficit. Even if yeah. that's incorrect, I'm being being brought into a world that's going to tell me that that's not normal. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's almost like I was watching. I think it's Mighty Ducks on Disney, and the one kid got two moms. And of course, traditionally, it says, "Oh, he's gonna be gay. Something's gonna be right. wrong with him." Why? Right. <laughs> you right. understand what I'm saying? Why right. do we raised by your mom, you're gonna, be a, you're gonna be a mama boy? And exactly. Like and then yes. you raised by two moms. Oh, he ain't got a chance. Yes. yes. Exactly. Why do we think this? But the game, though. Is even though that's inaccurate, you're still forcing a kid to grow up in a world that's mm-hmm. that that you know yeah. thinks this this is the wrong thinks thing. Thinks it's inaccurate. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's a burden in itself. Yeah, it is. That you don't even you know that, that they're wearing. Yeah. Exactly. Or they don't even know yes. how to respond to wearing yes, it. Consciously you, you be doing shit and you don't even know that you're doing yes. it. Exactly. The you world know? crazy, bro. Yeah. That's why I'm out of here. <laughs> 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 Drop the mic. But no, nah, man, it, this shit is terrible, yo. It is. It you is. Don't say that. 
Oh, you good. Oh, uh, this shit is terrible, man. But again, it's like this is why I always say how you raise the kids is the solution. The, and that's why a lot of change is happening, like you said, in like a 2020. Because right. now, but what if you don't even know how to raise a kid? Oh, people don't. People don't. See, no one knows what how to they raise do a kid. Is they do now. Nah, All do. raisins of kids I is do. is reactionary. Nah, people. people, people most, people, most people be like, Here's "Hey, I, I want to give the child the, the life I didn't." But have. there's that's no guaranteed me. right way to raise right. a kid. You might be raising your kid to be smart, uh, self sufficient, and all right. that. But that's not how she wants to be raised. That's not what's in it for her. She wants to be taken care of. So you thinking, "No, I'm doing the right thing by my daughter." <laughs> no, you, to her, you're burdening her. To me, the right thing to do by your child is to teach them to critique themselves and to teach them. To focus on being happy. Right. I agree with that a thousand percent. But that's you saying living in a world of happiness is better than living in a world of wealth. Living because in a world it, of happiness to me is better saying, than living in a world of wealth. I'm saying that? By that definition, by no, that raising, that's what What if a world of wealth makes saying. them happy? Huh? What if a world of wealth makes but them happy? But what if it doesn't? What you're raising is a person not to be, what, what I mean, but when you say uh, critique yourself and to make yourself happy, is that what you say? Mm-hmm. What if they want the bread? They want the bag. So you teaching me all this love shit that ain't right. getting me to the bag. So now yes, I'm living is. life. On if the, the bag is what make you happy, that should be your focus. But you didn't say that in your raising. You said I should know how to critique myself yeah, and, and try to be on, happy. Yeah, focus on what make you happy. Okay, I get your point. Yeah. That's a byproduct, though. Of what the bag? Yeah. So uh, it's like, uh, but to me, you would want them to have like happiness, like. But I'm saying we're basing this based on what we think. Is what you sh- how you should live your life. What mm-hmm. if motherfuckers don't want to be happy? There's certain people who don't want to be happy. Well, that's why you should teach your kids to focus on their happiness. If they don't want it, hey, if not making them happy makes them happy. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get out of your little man. Call this episode being unhappy make me make happy. Me happy. <laughs> <laughs> being unhappy make me happy. But my point is, I feel like if you raise your kid from jump to focus on their happiness, right? They gonna do that. Yep. Because, I mean, your thing is to find your niche, find what works for you, what makes exactly. you happy. But that's what I'm saying. That's like ever-changing. You cater to that. That's Absolutely. ever-changing. Right. So that's what I mean. to cater to that. Exactly. There's that's no why right you use it in a broad way. Yeah. Focus on what makes you happy. It might be, it's going to be different at five than it's going to be at 15. It's going it to be different is. at 15 than it is at 35. So if it changed, it's fuck what the fuck you was doing. Too. Go do that. But you got to prepare them to be able to withstand the change. Know how to spot the change and then change with the change. But not all you, change you, you should change. You should stand firm you and gonna, change. You're going to see the change when you critique yourself. Right. Yeah, I need to make a change. Or I need to make I an like adjustment. Talk whatever. to me, please! I like, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Man. God damn it. I ain't Don't got cheat yourself. For you, man. Instead, critique yourself. You smell me? That could be a name, too. I'll take, I'll take all the options and then make a decision. Joe, do you plan on having kids? You well, say, don't I be yourself? fucking, don't I? No, I'm just <laughs> we say don't treat yourself, or critique yourself. Yeah, um, I got that from Tupac. But oh, well, not Tupac, but it was on a Tupac song. Don't cheat yourself. Instead, treat yourself. If you're I'm, scared, go to church. I'm, I'm in a weird. Is. I'm in a weird spot. <laughs> hey, don't answer this if you got problems at home with no, this no, question. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. I, I want to have kids, but it's like. You know, finding like why do I want to have kids? Like, am I having kids for the right reasons? For selfish Very reasons. Good. That's the only reason anybody want to have kids, right? Because it's like you what Not kind me. of what well, are yes, you me. bringing them yeah. into type <laughs> shit? <laughs> I was know gonna know say what because kind of life can you provide for that kid? All kind of shit, you know. You I was gonna say part of why I had my kid is because I've seen wrong kids, right? And I'd like a shot at creating a right kid, right? America's future, <laughs> definitely selfish reasons. And that's why I stopped it. When I said no, and then I brought it back. Because ultimately, <laughs> my goal is to help put better people in the world so hopefully right. the world gets better. Right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's the definition of something. That's why I said That's why I couldn't I'm so it. good at life, nigga. I'm going to bring <laughs> niggas into the world to <laughs> teach you bastards <laughs> about life when I'm not here to do it no more, damn it. You can have a damn factory. Just y'all didn't want to listen to me. Hopefully y'all listen to one of my kids. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully they voice louder and longer than mine. Cause y'all dumbasses didn't want to listen to me, but yeah. So kids, if you, if to you, me, that's the only reason that people have kids. It's for selfish reasons. Yeah, it's for you thing. Because uh, <laughs> it is. Unless you guys, I remember my mother one time said when I was young. Well, not she didn't Even say it to me. Do it for your mom, but I heard her say it. Uh, when she was asking my sister to do something And then my sister's like I don't feel like doing it And she's like well that's why I had kids for For them to do the shit that yeah, I Yeah that's why my parents tell me 
<laughs> get your ass up and do this and that. And I'm like, why? That's what you were a kid. You supposed I'm like, why, nigga? Why can't I go to summer camp? <laughs> Shit. Joe, you wake up early you age. wake up, uh, knock on wood, you wake up with a pregnant woman tomorrow. <coughs> mm-hmm. How you feel? I gotta kill this bitch. <laughs> Um, Here I am speaking for me. <laughs> Here I am projecting. <laughs> well, you know, a conversation has to be had. You know what I'm saying? You sure mm. is mine? <laughs> Where you was no, Joe, four weeks yeah. ago. Joe, when you ask about <laughs> when you say if it's a mine's, but you got to put an S at the end of mine. You sure is mine's? <laughs> <laughs> You want or is it, it your man's? <laughs> it's your man's to do. Shit. It wasn't me. Am I the nigga you want to have it? Right. Or, or is it mine? That, you know what I'm talking about? Mine's. <laughs> Go ahead. You no, have that's how to be like, I'm having your baby. Mm. You know? Are you sure? Would you have a kid, Joe? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get at. I'm trying to see if you. You said, would I have a yeah. kid? Would you want to have a kid? I mean, I can't control that. Right. You know what I'm saying? You definitely that's, can. If a woman say, hey, I'm having this kid, whether you like it or there's nothing you can do. I mean, you could not fuck her. You could wear a condom. You could well, fuck yeah, prevention, <laughs> preventative <laughs> measures. Fuck a bitch that's on the PL. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. What the um, fuck is that? Hmm. Oh, some going to yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, part of me wants to have a family, man. Oh, for real? Yeah. Which part? That's Who got Mike 3? <clears throat> oh, it's because Joe phone, man. Was is it because of this? No, I turned this down. Oh yeah, but Joe wasn't talking about shit anyway. You can tell. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, I, I do want to have kids, but the reason why I, I'm not sure yet, I have a lot of reasons. You know, the reasons that we're you know, it's I don't like, want to have no more kids. You, I feel like you guys have y'all ones. You know what I'm saying? And y'all have. <laughs> y'all put, I'm out the game. Funny, y'all right? Put, the other night, my, I'm gonna have you finish, Jody. Because one second, mm-hmm. my lady uh, was sleep next to me, and I leaned over. I was like. Hey, let me put a baby in you. And then she turned she around. Like, she turned around. She woke the fuck up. And then we fucked. And then, of course, I fucking buzzed it up somewhere else. And she was like, I thought you said you wanted to have a baby. I said, man, that was to get you up. Nobody want to fuck you want fuck nothing, you nigga. I want I've been there before, <laughs> which is funny. So to and answer that, that's why it took me a second to answer. Like, yeah, I'm say Somebody that. told me one time that we put a baby, baby in her. And I was like, she doesn't know my real name. She doesn't know where I live. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> No, I'm just <laughs> Good luck, bitch. I can See still you, bitch. get away. Go and ahead, this bro. is a rental. Don't write down my plates when I leave. <laughs> Not even the cars, man. <laughs> what you were saying, though, Joe? But I, I, to, to end it, do I feel like the person that I'm, I'm currently speaking to makes me feel comfortable? Like, okay, if I was to have a kid, I'll be cool with it. This is why, even though the, I'm, I support that. Yeah. This is why. You know, I like, like y'all old lady dope. I fuck with y'all old lady. But yeah. anyway, my point is... This is why people have kids, cause they love somebody. <laughs> that is not a reason to have a it's kid. Not, but that's not, what you told. That's, exactly. That's how you so told. it is a reason to have a kid. See, I'm six foot six. She's six foot six. <laughs> yeah. She's pretty athletic. <laughs> we didn't did it. the shit. We know it's gonna be a boy. The WNBA need a new player. You know what I'm up? <laughs> well, I need to be a tall bitch to run a four one. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just kick back what or, is I, could, or I could swim shit for 20 years and then I wait for my hoop chick. I could do for a hell of a butterfly the next whoever, you know what I'm saying? Hoop swim. I need what a is a hoop. reason to I would have love a to kid. have an athlete create There's a not monster, because monster you athlete. Reason to have a kid, if bro. you say what you just said to create a monster athlete. If I want to create my own athlete yeah, and all that. That would be a dope That's athlete. what the slave owners was doing when they would let this right? big nigga fuck this big woman and it's like, "Oh, no, we want a big one so he can go on ahead and, fuck that and old pull the one. truck." Like, I'm not attracted to her. Get over there, Get over there it. I need ass. a super nigga. <laughs> <laughs> super nigga. <laughs> They want a super Then you got nigga. LeBron. Super nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to the king, man. <laughs> shout out to... Uh, as much as uh, Skip be hating on, uh, on, uh, oh my on LeBron gosh, and man. shit, they were saying uh, LeBron had like uh, tweeted something the other day on Instagram, so he was basically saying, like, the thunderstorm brewing, like, I'm finna come mm. back, right? And they was talking about it. I was like, he's sitting here hating. Now, mind you, this is his show before it's Shannon's show. Mm. I said, he's sitting here hating, but at the bottom it's saying, uh, should the rest of the NBA be on notice now that the king has said that so-and-so, so-and-so? I said, but then they call him the king, like, the most <laughs> respectful thing. You can call a motherfucker and the, la- uh, the, the, the shit down at the bottom. They call him the king, and then a the nigga who showed it is on there hating. Make sure you call him the king, though. I do got a love. 
respect for him, but I'm finna go shit on him uh, with my words. What but Skip does is so nasty, man. He man. hates like a bitch. Yeah, man. he hates like a, a fucking no bullshit. A bitch I hate that- when people give the lucky shot excuse. Oh, that was a lucky shot. Like this is the NBA. The shit went in. Let's move on. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? It's all luck. You're throwing a ball into a hoop. From yes, a distance. exactly. And there's an element of skill in it, no matter yes, what. Yes, there is absolutely, but it's still and luck. Everyone exactly. has luck. You know, Tom throwing to Randy Moss for 70-yard touchdowns and shit. That's luck. But it's Yes, but too. there's a lot of skill yeah, involved. Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, I'm trying to buy an Xbox real quick. Hold that up. nigga always doing something different. Nah, bro. Stop fucking with this nigga Mike, man. I'm trying to figure out why is it doing that, though. Uh, I don't know. Y'all probably got some kind of interference over that motherfucker or something, man. Tweet interference. Want me to put a beat on, man? Go ahead, man. You know that's how we fix problems around right oh, here. Let me see if they're going to let me add this to my car. Did it stop? Need that. I don't want to let nobody to buy Did it stop me. now? Oh, no, man. I stopped my video. No, oh, no. Nah. Uh, oh, well. I'm going to do a Rick right? Ross type beat, man. <gasps> Shout out to all the kids in the world that have good parents <gasps> and shit, man. Shout out to all the kids <laughs> in the world that got good parents, man. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. And your shout parents. out to all the parents. Do you love your kids? Shout out, shout out. Or do you have baby kids? To mom. Uh, to dad. Is your kid the light shout of your out, life? Do your kid light up your life? Or she is the dark in the night? Ooh. I had my baby on a happy day. Wanted to make it better. I say, hey, baby, you looking real nice in that sweater. Do you want a daughter? If not, then I ride. And if you do, then I put one inside. So go ahead and chill, and then we can build. And hopefully she can grow up and make a whole lot of dollar bills. Cause she gon' have a whole lot of skills. As long as I'm a father still, I gotta keep this love. shit real, yeah. The apple yeah. of my eye in July. Uh-huh. See, look, I can't never ever lie. I yeah. cried when she came out of her mama. But then I punched her mom. <laughs> now look, hey listen. Oh, I thought you was for the room. Oh, yes, I <laughs> Preach about that baby girl, man. Oh, I'm done, I man. love my daughter. I love my baby. I love her much. I am her father. I know that she loved my every touch. Mm. Her birthday was a couple days ago. I had a whole lot of money to spend on her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man. How old she is? <laughs> My daughter five is trying to stay alive. Uh. She the reason that I got drive and why I drive. Mm. And any time that I'm outside, I try to make it back inside so I can kiss her ass before the night. I just tuck mm. her in, do a whole lot of love and lot of hugging because she know that I love her, yo. And if you can't love your kids like I did, then you shouldn't have made them. That's all. Mm. Love your kids, love your kids, man. <laughs> love your son and love your kids. Look, Joe, I'm so sorry you can't enter this song because you ain't got you a little one. Uh, but who knows, one might be on the way. <laughs> who knows, I might have one one day. Today! <laughs> but I'm going to chill and take my time because you know this life is nothing but a grind. Mm. Take your time. If she hits you, say, is it mine? Because <laughs> you know money is on my mind. <laughs> At this current time, I ain't trying to be held back by no kid. <laughs> I got places to go and family to see. And a fucking life to live. Hey. I don't got to go get pampers and get food. Uh. I just want to chill with many bitches in the news. Uh. I just want to go ahead and rock my little blue and don't got to worry about buying pampers and bottle nipples too. Uh. Yeah, I'm just trying to chill a little bit. Try and find a couple hoes and let them... <laughs> Some dads leave in some state because they care. The next thing the niggas paying for daycare. See? You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't going to front. You, I'm going to be so upfront. Child support hit different when it comes every month. Got <laughs> out for no little baby. Is you crazy? I'd rather spend that same ass money on a Mercedes. Mm. I'd rather go and throw some money off in the strip club than go buy a bottle for a little fucking... Bitch. I wasn't gonna say it. This beat kind of thaw. The beat is, is kind of smooth. Make me think about what I wanna do. Yeah. Every single day I'm thinking about who you and yeah. what we gonna do. If it's chill, I get a couple of ooh and we can chill for two. I mean, baby, let me ease your mind. Yeah. Put my hands in between your lines. Yeah. Yeah. Baby <laughs> girl, I make your mind. Yeah. <laughs> DJ E. <laughs> if you don't want a kid, wrap it up right now. Look, man, that's brought to you by no other uh, the Raw Hypeneers. Plan, 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 plan. <laughs> you feel me, man? 
Hey, hey man, I'm shout out to cryptocurrency fuck, real bro. quick, nigga. I got some uh, crypto uh, stock and shit. My nigga, I went to sleep, woke up, and my shit was double. I was like, eight dollars in there. Nah, about five hundred. Damn, yeah, for real. Nigga, look, that motherfucker. You dogs, come on, ass look, nigga. That shit. That just, shit just went up a hundred. What? When I just showed it to you, bro. You gotta cash out me, bro. How you do it? Everybody cash out me. If you can hear this right now, man, uh, cash out your nigga. I got man. a little piece of a Bitcoin that keep going up, too. Man. Oh, you, you bought it in uh, the cash, cash app? Cash app, you can buy Bitcoin and stop. Yeah, I need to get on it, man. I, tell I you, sold the day, you all gotta my stocks, man. man. My shit. I, no, I woke up. I, I had five. That bitch is a thousand now. So he just made a hundred while I was telling you what just I happened. I know. Why well, I'm so broke, bro? And um, so far, all uh, her stocks. Hell yeah. That's why I be doing my shit on Samsung Money, nigga. Big money, Samsung. Man, you got a topic, bro. Put, go to the topics room, man. You play too much, man. <laughs> Dog, oh, so we hungry, didn't talk man. about this, and we have to talk about this shit real fast. It, it better be something real. The Fast and the Furious oh, series has got to be stopped. They're out of hand. They have got to be stopped. <clears throat> Don't listen to this nigga. He was just telling me how he going to watch the new movie. And, and that's why they have to be stopped. I was telling him, <laughs> I'll only watch it because of some kind of... Uh, Allegiance to Paul Walker, you know. I told him before Rest he passed peace, on, man. I would never stop watching because of you. And anyway, no, we was cracking about this shit the other day. Paul Walker has been in all the fucking last few <laughs> Fast and Furiouses, even though he's been dead for years. Yeah, in some way he is. In some way, some way, even they showing clips. And they've of also him. had a dead man in the past few Furiouses too. Huh? This Asian nigga. Yes. This Asian nigga then died twice. He died in Tokyo Drift and like episode seven is, I call it an episode. That's how much fucking, that's how much Fast and the Furious is this, it have. You can call them bitches episodes. Is this nine or ten? This team? I mean it's nine, bro. Fast they already, nine. Uh, they already approved. Is this the one though. that has Cardi B in it? <coughs> Fast and Furious type I would big, assume baby. so. Yeah. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Fast and Furious, you do not need to keep doing this. Fast guys. nine, baby. Them niggas Fast got nine, baby. mega magnets in it. Yeah. <laughs> Fast nine. Fast nine. I'ma watch the movies every fucking time. Yeah. yeah. Fast nine. Uh. Fast nine. Yeah. I'ma watch the movies every fucking time. Everybody know I'm watching Fast. Fast. I don't care, nigga. They be driving fast. Fast. They be driving, they be uh, uh, Who that is? That's Tyrese <laughs> That's my nigga, he be singing and shit Singing and shit Who that is? Who that my is? nigga Ludacris oh, hey. Hell yeah, these movies, they don't never stop I watched the fucking trailer, then I said Where's the fucking rock? Oh, but they got Bow Wow now When I seen Bow Wow I was like, wow <laughs> <laughs> Bow Wow in this movie for real? Yes, yes, yes. I thought Bow Wow was in Tokyo Drift, man. Yes. Like, what he doing in this one? He back? Yes. yes. This nigga put Bow Weez in that motherfucker. He was like, hey, we have no choice. No, the trailer was so long that I was like, I'm was not like watching the rest of this, bro. I didn't even finish you it. You should have finished it. I didn't finish because it. No, you going to watch the new one? For free. Yeah. Me and Joe would have watched the Fast and Furious movie before. Yeah. We we seen seen the last do you remember together. when I used to say on the podcast all the time that Bad Americans, yeah, that Americans just watch mo- the Fast and the Furious movies because we're Americans? Yes. That, I used to always that's make why that I'm reference. Doing it. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen Fast I've Eight. I've been watching out of homage like to Paul, but that's what I said. I haven't seen nice. Fast Eight or Fast Seven. They're all, they're all the same. There was a Fast Eight. Yes. That's <laughs> how we got on nine. Like nine. Yeah, what was <laughs> Fast Eight? What was is that fast the one with eight? Cardi B? It probably wasn't Fast Eight. <laughs> is that one one where it was like up and it's up and it's up and it's stuck? Is that one? I don't remember, bro. Yeah, I don't know Cardi B being in no fast movies, bro. Fast, bro. I heard she fast and she furious, Ooh. man. Cardi, yeah, fast. Fast and Furious came out in 2017. What? Cardi was in the Fast and the Furious. She, yeah, she know. was in nine, bro. Oh. She's in this one. Yeah, so Joe, you're right. Yeah. You're right on time. Oh, I think said she was in nine. I no, thought it was a swimmer. But I guess not. Ooh, Cardi on that bitch. I gotta see it now, bro. Kick it. Oh, what? no, you're gone. Let's put that the beat Fast on. and the Furious beat? Yeah, yeah. they have some cameos in there. Yeah. But that's a Fast and Furious? Yeah, you want a different one? No, let it play, man. Nah, you get you a new oh. one, bro. What the hell is I this? Don't know what the fuck it's gonna switch up. Hey, riding around in my car to whip. That's not um, like one of the fast cars, fast money. That bitch with a phone. Pretty loops and shit. That nigga made that bitch with a phone. Bam, bam, nine, eight, six, six, two. 
Nigga, it's garage, man. Nigga, man, that bitch with an Apple Watch. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> I make beats on my Apple Watch. What time is it? Yeah. It's time to make a beat, nigga. Ooh, where is going? I know where it's going, yeah. but we going fast while we get there. Fast and furious. You see me in my car. Me and Rebel in this bitch. We like Hobbs and Shaw. Fast and furious. You see me in my car. Me and Rebel in this bitch. We like Hobbs and Shaw. Fast and furious, that's how we get around town. Everybody know when we go in, it's going down, down. I be in the R87, ready to whip it. He be in that Audi, ready to skirt on you bitches. Ready to skirt, you know what's going down, down, down. Who in that bitch? My little nigga Bow. Wow, wow, they see me wow. just cruising in this bitch. What? They see me, I'm just moving and I'm grooving like this bitch. I'm, I'm like, like, hold up, pass me the keys. We riding by 65. Wait, hold up, is that is that Cardi B? <laughs> Tell Cardi hop up in this Tesla truck. <laughs> <laughs> we don't give a fuck. We run, run, run. Fast and furious. We just blood, blood, blood. Fast and furious. We just, we just fast nine up fast in this thing. Fast nine. Fast. All of a sudden, Vin Diesel got a brother. <laughs> it's been like eight episodes we ain't heard about him or his mother. What See, they do? How they know each other? <laughs> Cause we done discovered that this nigga got a brother and they got some fucking beef. He done been friends for a long time. I knew him for two weeks. I'm like, wait, hold up. Hold up. Have you seen him? Why the fuck his brother look like John Cena? <laughs> Why the fuck I watch this shit and I ain't seen him? Huh? There's something that's going on. I don't believe him. I didn't watch all these motherfucking movies on my TV. And now Don brother talking about you can't see me. I'm like, hold up. <laughs> Where Paul at? Right? He wouldn't be okay with all that. <laughs> he was about to cause. He was about to whip it. <laughs> <laughs> he was about to cause. He was about to whip it. I'm telling Y'all you, got cars flying through the fucking kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> the cars going from building to building. <laughs> like, what are they doing? Hold up, look at all the fine women. Oh, look at them. Like, is that we, Cardi B? Like, Cardi in that motherfucker, bro. Hey. But if you got car in your name, you can be in. You get it, car, car D. Love and Fast man. and Furious is where the cars be. The bars. <laughs> Balls, but no, nah, man, I'm a, all that joking aside, shout out to them because anything successful that's being done, cur- su- I not even say done right, I support <laughs> successful things and people like Tyrese and Ludacris getting money. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're getting checks forever. Now, I can't believe that they have such a big budget and they still make money from these movies. It's because, exactly. How are people making money with shit going like straight to like HBO Max and shit now? Like they no. selling it to HBO? Everything is streaming. That's what I say. They is the new one going to be on HBO too? I'm oh, no. I couldn't get to the end of the damn trailer. <laughs> man. Um, but Nigga things be selling, weed. streaming, and all these partnerships. And Actually, you're right. I don't know how the fuck these companies make money nowadays. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't get it. It's I think a- about that every time. Can I be like, it's an IMAX and also on HBO Max. And I'm like, why would I go see it in IMAX? Well, because they want all the money. So anybody who's willing to go to the movies, they're already content with showing it on the TV and they're going to lose and they're going to get more people to buy and subscribe. But they're like, if anybody say they want to go to the movies, Man, I the want that money million? too. See, that movie? look. 200 million. Oh, how much how did the, the last fuck one make? are they going to make that money back? How much did the last one make? Type in how much did the And if they said they already made. made the green light for nine and ten, it lets you know that they know for sure these bitches. I are bet money. Fast Eight made over a billion dollars. Hell no. Watch him Hell pull up no. the numbers. No. It did not make a billion. Word to Nathaniel Walker, no. I guarantee you. No. It didn't Paul Walker, a younger brother. Hell no. Pull it up, Joe. Fast eight. Did Tell not me it's over a billion. One point two billion. Come on, motherfucker. <laughs> that two is how much they used 1. to make this billion. one. So they still up a billion, nigga. That's worldwide. Come on. Fast 8 made <laughs> $1.2 billion. Dollars. And Yo, you wonder why you got I've three. I've never heard of Fast 8, bro. $1.2 billion. And apparently I've seen this movie. How you, How do you know you've seen it? Because I reckon, I think that's the one when there was in the snow or some shit. How, yeah. Joe, I don't know, man. Uh, I think I, actually, I think that's the one where I just rhymed that they had a car jump out of a building. One of them, they had a car in one of these skyline buildings. And the nigga hit the gas. How much Hobbs and Shaw made, <laughs> Oh, what you want me, me to say? I'm guess? talking to Rebel yesterday. No, no. I'm talking to Rebel yesterday. I'm like, this nigga The Rock in his own uh, Fast, Fast Universe. universe. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I didn't see him in the new trailer, so I was like, so he's just Hobbs now. He got his own life under the Fast <laughs> Universe. 
Like, what is this? 760 million. Oh, Are you knocking on the Billy's me? door. Hobbs and Shaw? <laughs> knocking on a Billy's no, door. No, I, I like watch Hobbs and Shaw knock, for like knock, seven knock minutes. On Billy's door. Can you check what seven made? I'm curious. <laughs> 1.5 billion. Seven? Yes. Fuck me. How are you not making a movie that you drop in a Billy every time right. you come out? Right. Your last three movies almost made a billion each. And I it told only you. cost 200 like, It was because of Paul Walker died because that was the one I made the most. And what that was? That, six? that one was what, Fast 7, 1.5 billion. Fuck yeah. yeah. And you gotta think, I was being very cautious when I was south because you know, all the other bank. ones was under a million. I mean under a billion. billion. Mm-hmm. And I was saying like they're like as successful as Marvel. Like I was but mm-hmm. I was tiptoeing on how I was saying mm-hmm. it. There you are. You were saying it in jest. Exactly. It's like, real. Hey, yeah, exactly. Like also, <laughs> hey, no disrespect to Marvel. But Fast and Furious is as successful as Marvel. Like dead ass, bro. Nigga. They're making they money. made a billion like, on the last three. It's why they have a fast universe. I mean, yeah, yes, yes the fast, <laughs> Like if, if the Rock really not in this new movie, then that for real means the Rock in his own fast universe now is Hobbs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> they probably gonna have one with Tyrese and Ludacris in their own fast universe. Oh, no. Tokyo Drift no. was a fast no. universe. No. That's you, one of my favorite ones. That's one of my favorite ones. Fast too. universe, no one. Huh? This is the Rock. I get it. But when you look at uh, something that's dropping a movie every the time, they can now. think they name Hose. Hobbs is in this one. He's in the cast. He is? Yeah, he's a part of the cast. See, he Why is he a part of the trailer? Because he's surprised. Oh. You think you're going to see no Hobbs? I still think that he in his own uh, not, fast universe, though. I really do believe I bet he's his scene that he pulled up in. You bet your candy ass in it. Because <laughs> <laughs> there ain't nobody. And the rock mates. Because, um, yeah. Shut up, bitch. I agree with it. I completely agree with that, man. Damn, them niggas eating. Them, them, but them niggas might think they name is enough to sell the film. So if I give you a fast universe. So why universe, would you do that when you can just get somebody that's a popular actor and start them in their own fast universe? Because they want to keep the family. You know, uh, Vin Diesel's all about family. going to be in the family. Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Vin Diesel been talking about family since episode no, one. Nigga, and it take episode nine for us to know the nigga got a brother. What kind of shit is this? You know? turn your back on family. <laughs> Uh, my brother, oh, I hate him. Uh, <laughs> I never even talk about him. <laughs> like, dead, dead. they don't even be trying, bro, in I, Hollywood. You didn't watch the end of that trailer. At the end of the trailer, Vin Diesel is driving in what looks like a centipede-looking Tesla truck. Looks like they're And he drives it, jumps out like he always does, roll on the ground, and the truck <laughs> flies, whips its tail, and hits a Black Hawk DEFCON 5 fighter jet out of the sky. I don't even like how that sound when I said it, my nigga. But someone heard that and said, fuck fun, yeah, book it. Man. It's not fun. It's, it's not like how it used to fun. be, man. Like, I remember I am, I, um, when I watched Fast Five and everybody was like, Fast Five fucking suck. It was I was like, I liked Fast Five. Fast Five was good and then me. it's crazy the one in because Brazil, right? it was yeah. one that introduced The Rock. Yeah, the one in Brazil. Yeah, when it was dragging that big ass scene. Because yeah, still, that yeah, that was hard. Yeah. And then I'm like, Fast Five was the last Fast and the Furious movie that I liked. Mm. And it's like, they up to 10. They're like, we don't give a fuck if you yeah, like it or not. Yeah, we done five more without you. Yeah. And, and we made more money yeah. than we ever we, did. We did it without Paul Walker. Do you think but we need you? It's because of him. <laughs> but it's because of his death. I don't agree with that. I don't I agree. Do. I think the next one. I mean, one, look at the numbers. But the one. Oh, but it helped that, that, it helped that, that movie be the most popular one. Exactly. But that ain't even the most. That ain't even the highest numbered one. It was. What, Fast it Five? Was. Yeah. No, it's Fast Seven. That's what I said, Fast Seven. Paul Walker one, right? No, Fast nah. Six or Fast Five was the Paul Walker one. No, that was the last one he was in. Fast Seven, you know, they had to be. Yeah, the one where dedicated he... to Paul Walker when yeah. he, like, the he last that was seven. The Wiz Khalifa song. And yeah. that was Seven. Yeah. That's yeah, why, was yeah, it was, it and that's was. the most popular one. That's why it's the most popular one. The but Fast and the one. Furious was going to be popping with or without Paul Walker. Bro. Yeah. That's if why Paul Walker was still alive, it, this shit would still be popping. Him dying, this shit still popping. It wouldn't be a billion, though. though. It was make, they're making the billions now. I do. Like I can say they're making billions. I think it would have been though. billions, bro. This shit is crazy, man. We should probably name this Fast and Furious to see if we get a billion fucking views yeah. on this motherfucker. Name this motherfucker Fast 9. <laughs> 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 Oh, we, I mean, y'all had them songs and they might like it, you know? Put, they put us on the soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> Give us one more before we get up out of here, man. Yeah, we got to do one more Fast and the Furious. One more Fast and Furious. Any other even... news we got? I don't know, man. But Joe said he didn't want to talk about so how what? the new Utah requires biological fathers to pay half out of pocket for pregnancy calls. Holy shit. They want to make a nigga pay at just the same thing? Nah. 
It's different. So. It's different. This a little bit slower. The other one was faster and furious. <laughs> oh. I gotta see it. I'm curious, sir. <laughs> than I was on the last on one. The last What's one? so good about this movie? It's, it's a, a fast one. <laughs> the light turned green. I hit that gas. Yeah. Damn right, that's your ass. That's yeah. Your ass. You staying in my rearview mirror? Yeah. Going down the street, going 9050. I don't you, know. <laughs> you wanna dance with the devil? With the devil Never on the break. My foot is on the pedal, it's, it's whatever. The they say I'm driving far. I look at him and laugh. You never had your car. <laughs> <laughs> We do it fast all the time. How you living, who me? A quarter mile at a time. Yeah. I don't got no time for no trash bars. Uh -uh. Only got time for fast cars and NASCAR. Yeah. Fast eight. That was my favorite one. Yeah. I'm lying. <laughs> I hated him. Hated seven too. <laughs> Nigga six did it. Fast five was good, but I ain't fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm smoking on the line. You can take a whip. Take a whip. I'm in Tokyo, but I don't never fucking drill. Never. Now I'm driving in a damn straight line. I don't give a fuck. I'm in the line watching Fast Nine. Ooh. Every time they drop, they know I'm in the IMAX. IMAX. I hit the clutch and put it to the fucking max. Put it max. Nigga, it's the pedal to the metal. We can rest whenever line hit a nigga with a shovel. Hey, I hold up, building. let me hold your car. This fast universe that we got Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> we driving in a <the> bucket. <laughs> you wanna make another one? Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> you got the budget, nigga. We do a billy. When other Marvel drop a movie, we say y'all silly. Y'all niggas trying to think that y'all can fuck with me? Nah, we too fast for y'all. We too fast too for y'all. Too fast for y'all. Yeah. We fast, fast nine, for baby. Coming to theater soon, baby. We riding around in some cars while y'all playing basketball. <laughs> we go too fast Miami. for y'all. Uh, we too fast for y'all. Uh -huh. Yeah, riding around in nice cars while y'all playing. Who hoping, man? Hey, shout out all the members, all the cast members. Shout out Bow Wow. Shout out Bow Wow. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. Rest in peace, man. Shout out to Vin Diesel. Shout out to Asian that can't, that keeps coming back every time. My boy Han, he back in this motherfucker. Shout out to Ja Rule, he never been in another one. That's fucked up. Yeah, we can't even get ruled. We up can't in even this get ruled. Hold up. Uh, after these uh, men, uh, the only person Murder! I was in the car in the first one. <laughs> what would I do without my car? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, man. shout out y'all, man. Shout out to Raw Hype Joe. Give shout thanks out, for pulling out, up. You got out. anything to say to the people, man? Man, stay healthy, stay safe. There man. you go. Good luck on that baby. Hype, you got anything to say? Oh, <laughs> uh, shit, man. Just trying to get in Johnson & Johnson really? shit. Uh, follow the raw hopping everywhere. Uh, I got my medical marijuana card. Ooh, mine's is on the way. Here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we telling y'all right now, when our shit touch down, we doing an episode that's dedicated to... Uh, Loud med packs. <laughs> uh, uh, we gonna invite Paul Pierce to pull up on us, right? too, man. We can show shit right. on camera and shit. Nah, we ain't gonna get in all that, but we up out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to y'all, the raw hypers and all y'all, man. And everybody in between, but, but, man. You know what it means, man. I don't know how you raw hype, but we raw hype responsibly. Ooh.